What is up guys, it is Glasgow here, back again with another How to Tame Beast video. This time we are featuring Gliscor, or Glasgow, however you want to call it. Gliscor is not quite the unique mon, as it shares the same typing as Landreth Darien, the more popular version of this typing. Glasgow has definitely its perks that it can use, so let's have a look at what it can offer on a team for each one. So let's have a look at its base stats. Its base stats in HP are 70, 75, attack is 95, defense is one that's amazing 125, special attack locks lackluster 45, but you're never really going to use special attack. Then its special defense is again 75 as its HP stat is, and a really good 95 speed. So it definitely has some potential in it so that are suggested by its stats, especially in physical defense. So let's have a look at what it, what kind of purpose it, it offers. Now, having that 95 base speed, it is definitely faster than Heatran and B-Sharp, so it can KO them with Earthquake, and as well as heavily dent Aegislash Slash with its 95 base, spe uh, base attack. Now, on a more gimmicky side, it can, kind of checks grass types as it is able to run acrobatics. Or area lays, un unless under unlike Glandress, which cannot really touch grass types because it's only viable, viable in quotes. Fly lying attack is fly, which you're not really going to run because it's a two-turn move. So yeah, Gliscor is the difference between Gliscor and Landris is that it uh, actually is able to use flying type attacks. So what counters Gliscor though? Bulky waters definitely counter Gliscor as as well as ice types since they both since Gliscor has pretty poor special defense, only 75, they both are pretty easily going to be beating or one hit KO in Gliscor. As well as everything that counters Landreth Darien is going to be able to counter Gliscor except for grass types such as Venusaur. Now let's have a look at its move pool highlights. In attacks, it's definitely going to be earthquake and acrobatics as main stab. Now and rock slide and knockoff to cover some to cover these to cover the to basically as coverage moves. Then as support moves, it's definitely going to be tailwind, which I'm going to use in the sample set as well as a roost to get some recovery off and. Let's move on to the usable items it has. I, I use Lumberry Gliscor to trigger so I could have acrobatics to burn my item fast to have acrobatics at full power. But of course you can use Toxic Orb which, which boosts its longevity as well as its Itrus Berry does and the Archie Berry is also a common, commonly, more or less commonly used item because it, I mean, it's got a 4 times weakness to ice. Let's have a look at a sample stat that I created myself. Um, the speed, 92 speed is so that you outspeed Scarf th th Thunderous Darien in Tailwind. And yeah, max attack to have max attack and rest in. Pu I put the rest in HP. Hypercutter is there because we're not using a Toxic Orb, so it's probably the next best ability to have. Um, yeah as it do doesn't allow your attack to be lowered. Now, I use this Gliscor in conjunction with a Swagger Thunderous to, so I could Swagger myself, set up the Tailwind and have now plus 2 speed, plus 2 attack, as well as Acrobatics and Earthquake as powerful stab attacks. It's quite a gimmicky setup, but it can definitely work out. Now, this I want to have a disclaimer saying that this is definitely not the only viable set that Gliscor can run. Gliscor can definitely run the Toxic Orb set with Rock Slide, Earthquake, and maybe Knock Off or Roost and Protect to offer some some good and bulky Tailwind and or support. Now let's have a look at the sample team. As I said before, Gliscor and Thunderous was my lead or my gimmick that I had with Swagger Thunderous and Swagger in my own Gliscor. Then I've put on some ca a Kangaskhan and a Cresselia to kind of have a trick room option because teams with two options are always better than teams that only got one option. Then I've added a Scrafty for Intimidate support since Gliscor doesn't provide that. And I added a Fire type 
which is like super important in this meta game. I will leave a, dis a paste bin of this team in the description show, so you should check it out. Now, why you should use it? It is even though it is a weaker alternative to Landers therein, it is definitely an option you could consider, seeing how it has a quite a fast tailwind and it has reliable recovery, unlike as, as um, Landers. So yeah, there are the main points why you should use Gliscor or Gliscor, <laughs> however you want to call it. I call it Gliscor. Point. Period. Anyways, <laughs> I hope you will use Gliscor or Gliscor uh, after this video. <laughs> um, I hope you had fun. I had my fair share of fun, definitely. I hope I see you next time. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Use Gliscor!